Hi, my name is Deborah Ye and I'm a fifth year medical student from the University of Auckland. In this video, I'm going to explain the role of follow-up in the care for a patient who has had melanoma. We'll go through why follow-up is done, how often it happens and what it involves. Follow-ups are to help look out for the possible return of melanoma and also give a chance for clinicians to find new melanomas and to provide education and support to patients. There is a 20% chance of a melanoma returning somewhere in the body within 10 years after it has been removed. Most of these so-called metastases or secondary melanoma occur within the first three years and they can be difficult to treat. Patients who have had previously had melanoma also have a greater chance of developing a new melanoma. Follow-ups include regular skin checks by either your GP or a hospital specialist. If your GP finds anything they are concerned about, they may refer you back to a specialist. Different follow-up intervals are recommended for different stages of melanoma. The different stages of melanoma range from 0 to 4. Tumor stage 0 is an in situ melanoma, a melanoma that is confined to the outside layer of the skin. It's not expected to spread, but annual skin checks are a good idea in case a new melanoma occurs. Stage 1 is a thin melanoma and unlikely to be dangerous. Follow-up appointments may be made at 6 or 12 monthly intervals. Stage 2 is a thicker melanoma and stage 3 or 4 melanoma has spread to other parts of the body. The higher stages of melanoma may require follow-ups every 3 months, especially in the first year. The frequency of these follow-ups decrease over the years because the chance of recurrence of melanoma decreases with time. During your follow-up, your clinician will ask you some questions to see if you have had any symptoms that point to the return of melanoma, such as a new skin lesion, fatigue or weight loss. They will also do a complete skin check including the scalp and examine for any enlarged lymph nodes. They will pay particular attention to the old melanoma scar and the lymph nodes nearby. This is also the perfect opportunity to raise any questions or concerns you have about melanoma, as your clinician can provide education and support. You'll probably be reminded to protect your skin from further exposure to the sun. For those with more advanced melanoma, follow-ups may include blood tests and imaging such as ultrasound, x-ray, CT, MRI and or PET scan. Follow-up is recommended in the management of a patient with melanoma because it is thought to reduce the risk should there be any recurrence of melanoma. We also know that people who have had one primary melanoma have a 1 in 10 risk of another one. Make sure you learn how to keep an eye on your own skin for any warning signs. If you have any concerns about a skin lesion that is new or changing, see a health professional as soon as possible.